What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did some migration and we went to the Pal Park and we got ourselves some pretty good Pokemon. As you guys can see, I've assembled a team ready for the second go around against the Pokemon Elite Four. As you guys can tell, you know, we got Leonardo. Shocker, Smasher, Buckus from Pokemon Fire Red, and Sage of the Halo and Hadouken from Pokemon Emerald. We're going to be doing some stuff right here. We're going to be involving everybody we see, and well, we're going to be talking to this guy. He's going to be like, once you enter this door, you will be facing one of the Elite Four. They're really tough. You cannot exit once you enter. Are you ready? Be courageous and go for it. All right, so here we go. Second go around in the Elite Four, and well, just like uh, last time, yes, these Pokemon are going to be super strong. That is why we got our Pokemon ready to go. So let's go right and talk to this guy. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful, and at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Okay, so it looks like he's saying the same thing. And here we go, taking on Will, and now he's got himself six Pokemon. You guys got to be aware of this, and as you guys can see, he's got himself a level 58 Bronzong. Yeah, that's definitely not going to work. So we're going to be speeding up to Buckus, and Gravity's hit, it pulled us down. So here we go, Flamethrower for the win, and here comes a Grumpig. This is a first. Let's go right ahead and go with Hadouken. And we're going to be lowering some stats right here. Here comes a crunch attack for the win. This guy has no... He, he, he's definitely got nothing on us. Yes, we are overpowered and all that stuff. But guess what? I don't mind it. I don't care because, well, that's what we were intending to do right there. And I shouldn't have done that. All right, so Dream Eater is going to kick our butts. And here we go. Flamethrower for the win. Sage grows to level 62. And that's the first level grown here. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a slow, bro. Let's go with Shocker right here. And slow, bro, eat this thunder. That's right. Oh, my God. Shocker getting... Oh, my God. Just like I left you in the last one. Here comes a Guard Devour. This Pokemon is super strong. So let's go with Sage of the Halo right here. And let's go with a Screech Attack. And here we go. Return Attack. And that didn't work. Holy crud. This is the reason why you're weak. Holy crud. All right, Leonardo, let's go. Let's go with a uh, Surf Attack, and that nearly wins it. And here we go, Surf Attack again. And just like that, we win. And, oh wow, still got another Pokemon, okay. <laughs> so used to five Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with a Thunderbolt Attack for the win. And just like that, we win our first battle. Okay, so yes, you have been defeated. Go ahead and stay the course, but guess what? We will still reign supreme. Now, let's see. We got to heal up our Pokemon. Obviously, we, we, we kind of, uh, you know, we kind of just given a... Or we kind of... What was it called? Uh, yeah, we kind of maxed out our, our stuff. Just so we can actually take on this guy right here. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch it out to Sage of the Halo right here. Because... Actually, you know what? That's not the best idea. Because the next guy is going to be pretty difficult. So, let's go back to Shocker. And... Well, here we go, and as you guys can see, we got Koga waiting for us. He's like, ha, 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 ha. I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in the shadows, a ninja. I intri my intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. <laughs> Pokemon are not merely about brute force. You shall soon see. Okay, all right. So here we go, taking on. Koga himself. Look at this. He is from the shadows and he does have six Pokemon and of course he has the dreaded Skuntank. I hate this Pokemon with all my passion. And of course he's going to be hitting us with a freaking uh, a toxic attack. So we're going to go with this guy right here. Or this chick. And Smasher kicking some butt, taking some names. Let's go right ahead and use Big Booty Butt Kiss right here. And yes. Flamethrower for the win. That's how you do it. And here comes Toxicroak. So let's go straight for our guy, Hadouken. And Hadouken, now that we taught it fly again, it can kick anybody's butt. Look at that. Okay, so here comes Krogunk. Or no, uh, Crobat. And, well, we're going to be hitting it with a Thunder right here. As you guys can see, he is no match for us. And, yeah, Shocker is learning Discharge. 
You know what? Discharge and Thunderbolt are basically the same thing. Yeah, except... Hold on just a sec. Okay, so... You know what? We're gonna do it. We got Thunder. We can always buy Thunder. So, we got plenty of moves right here. And, well, let's go uh, take on this Swallow right here. And Earthquake Attack does its thing. Try it again. Earthquake for the win. Sage of the Halo grows to level 63. Here comes Mook. And we're going to go with another Earthquake Attack. And Swagger is going to hit us. So, there we go. Earthquake for the win. And Sage of the Halo is kicking some butt. Taking some names. That's right. We have Pokemon. We have been training. I knew that we, we, we were going to like we were gonna involve these guys somehow. Okay, so before we do anything, yes, I forgot about a good old uh, Shocker right here. And uh, we need to heal this Pokemon up, so yes. There we go. And the next Pokemon trainer on the list happens to be... It happens to be Bruno, so I'm only going off on a limb that he's going to start off with a Steelix. As you guys can see, he's got lava everywhere, and he's like, I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme because I, can, I believe in our potential. That is how we become strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm. I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, Draven. You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hua! Okay. Alright. Okay, let's get it. So here we are, taking on Bruno. Look at that. You got a typical pose where he's looking uh, backwards. And, uh, well, I was incorrect. But we do have a flying-type attack. And crap baskets, he hits us pretty good. Okay, so... Let's go with Sage of the Halo, and let's go... Oh, no, I actually could duke and fly, and that counter does not work. Let's go ahead and continue on right here with his most powerful Pokemon, and yes, he does hit us with the rock, uh, I, I think, what was it called? I uh, can't remember what the name of the move is, but it messes with us badly. So, let's go with Sage of the Halo right here. Here comes Lucario, Earthquake Attack, and damn, he is literally hitting us with counter attacks. Okay, so... Yeah, he's, he's definitely going to kick our butts right here. So there we go. Do not take this man lightly. Let's go with Leonardo. And let's go with a rain dance. He's going to hit us with a swagger. So because of that... Oh, wow. Okay, so choice specs. Oh, wow. We, can, we can't we can do anything. Holy crap. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. We're going to have to go with Smasher. Close combat hits us pretty hard. And, well, let's see. Let's go with the Body Slam. That paralyzes Hitmonlee. And here we go. Wow, okay, here we go. Body Slam for the win. And here comes Hitmonchan. So let's not, let's not, uh, let's not mess up with that Choice Specs yet again. So let's go with Waterfall. And here comes a Substitute, which of course replaces its Pokemon. And just like that, we have defeated Hitmonchan. And here comes Hariyama, a beefy Pokemon. And we're going to go with the Waterfall yet again. Look at this. Okay, Waterfall. And here comes another Waterfall. This guy is going to be full restoring. And just like that, we defeated this guy. Leonardo grows to level 78. And yes, how could you lose? Well, I was stronger than you. Plus, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I kind of didn't take into, take into consideration the whole uh, counterattack. So, that's my bad. That's my bad, guys. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with Sage of the Halo right here. And use a few Hyper Potions on everybody because, well, we are a good trainer. That's right. And go with Bootkiss. Big Booty Bootkiss. And Smasher. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for, not Smasher. I think we should go with, Sh with Shocker right here. Alright, let's go right ahead and continue on. Our adventure right here, our little onslaught to the Pokemon League, and this girl is I am Karen of the Elite Four. You're Draven. How amusing. I love Dark Type Pokemon. I'm known for my overwhelming tactics. Think you can take them? Just try and entertain me. Let's go. Okay, bring it on. So here we go, taking on Karen. Yes, and she happens to be the daughter, I guess, of uh, Agatha. And she is coming out with a Weavile, so let's go with Iron Tail, and that one was super effective, and wow, we are frozen. First time in quite some time, all the crud. Let's go right ahead and full restore. Here comes a full restore for both of us. Let's go Iron Tail yet again, and just like that, we defeated her. Here comes Spiritomb, and as many of you guys already know, Spiritomb is both a dark 
and ghost type Pokemon. This Pokemon has no weakness, and it does like to mess with you just like this. And, wow, well, look at that. We defeated it. And here comes a Honchkrow. Let's go back to Shocker. Honchkrow, very physical. And here comes a Discharge Attack for the win. Here comes Ombreon, a super defensive Pokemon. So let's go with Hadouken right here. And, well, let's go with a Dragon Claw. And here comes its curse. It's going to be uh, taking up its stats right here. So let's go with a Toxic. And, yes, we are now poisoned. So who's going to go first? And, well, let's go with a Dragon Claw. Confuse Ray. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, full restore because we already know she's going to be full restoring herself. And here comes a Payback Attack. And let's go Dragon Claw for the win. And Hadouken grows to level 67. Sage as well grows to level 64. Here comes Absol. So let's go with Smasher right here. And go with a Super Power. And just like that, Super Power does its trick. Absol has been defeated. And, uh, well, here comes Houndoom. A very scary Pokemon, but Leonardo can get this. Here we go, Houndoom, how's it going? Here's the water attack that you dislike, and well, just like that, we have defeated Karen. Well, aren't you good? I like that in a trainer. I am great, I am fantastic. And of course, she's gonna be saying the same old thing, strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, yada yada yada. Okay, so, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon yet again. Right here, Leonardo. And Hadouken. Okay, so this next battle is going to be a tough one because, yes, this Pokemon trainer does have himself uh, some, uh, what you might call it, uh, dragon type Pokemon. And yes, no fairy types exist right here. So let's go right ahead and walk straight to this man right here. And there he is waiting for us. I've been waiting for you, Draven. I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As one of the most powerful trainers, and as the Pokemon League champion, don't know how you regain that championship without beating me, I lance the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. Okay, so here it is, guys. It's time. We are taking on Batman himself, Lance, and he's going to be coming out with a Salamence, level 72. This guy is not joking around. He wants to destroy us. So, let's go with a nice beam attack, and well, Dragon Claw gonna hit us, and that right there, well, it takes quite a few HP, but here we have Ice Beam, we do have the choice specs, which will enable us to, well, which will uh, power up the Ice Beam attack, and just like this, look at this, look at that, look at that, just go down, all the way down, that's right, you don't survive, this is my, this is my ring right here, this is my domain, that's right. Okay, so here he comes out with a, a Gyarados, so let's go straight for Shocker. So let's beat that through. Okay, so, of course, we're going to be getting hit with a uh, Intimidate, but we're not a physical attacker. Look at this. Discharge attack, quad damage, 10 levels above you. Finish him. Finish him. And just like that, Gyarados has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we are the champs right here, and here comes Garchomp. Now this Pokemon is a menace. It is a complete menace, you guys already know. Another particular champion has this Pokemon, and oh my god, we, we really have to get on top of this one right here. So here we go, Ice Beam Attack. Time to eat these ice. And it is both ground and dragon, so I believe that will be what, quad damage? Please? Come on! We got the choice specs on, and just like that, Garchomp defeated. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. Look at that, we're kicking some butt, taking some names, and here comes Dragon Knight. Yeah, easy pickings. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Look at this, this Dragon Knight has no choice but to surrender to Leonardo. Oh yes, Leonardo giving him the stare. That's right. Oh my god, Dragon Knight. Uh, defeated. Oh yeah, we're sweeping the crud out of this guy. Oh yeah. Okay. Alrighty. And Sage grows to level 65. And here comes Charizard. Now, let's see. We're gonna do that. And... What if we go... Oh yeah, Trace Specs only allows Ice Beam. Okay. Yeah, let's go with that. And just like that, Ice Beam wins it again. Oh yes. Oh yes. And here comes its last Pokemon, Altaria. 
All right, Leonardo. Time to finish it. Altaria, you don't scare me. All right, I thought it would never have this, or this would never happen. Here we go with a nice beam attack. Time to say bye-bye, Altaria. Oh, yes. Quad damage. Dragon and flying type Pokemon does not stand a chance to ice beam, and there we go. Throwing out the peace sign. We have regained our championship that we never lost. It's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. Well, you know, happy that you witnessed the rise of a new champion, which, you know, we're not really new. We, we, we literally won a few episodes ago. Whew. You have truly become powerful, Draven. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. And just like that, we continue with the festivities, just like this. Obviously, you know, Mary wants to, you know, blame Professor Oak for being slow and all that stuff, which is true, you know, he is kind of slow, you know. Hey, but it's not his fault, man, you know, it's, uh, you know, he's getting older in age and all that crud, so come on, leave him alone. Okay, so, we're gonna be, uh, moving forward right here because we cannot, uh, we cannot take this. Yes, look at this, she's like, well, we don't know, we haven't done the interview, okay. So, here we are back in the Hall of Champions. And, well, Lance is like, it's been a long time since I last came here. It's only been like maybe 15 episodes, man. But okay. This is where we commemorate all the League champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today we witness the rise of a new League champion. A trainer who feels compassion for and trust towards all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new League, po or the new league champion who has all the makings of his greatness. Draven, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. Alrighty. Throwing out that peace sign. Okay. Whew! Okay, so I never thought that this would happen. Actually, I, I did know. Anywho, here we have Leonardo from Kanto. Oh my god. Here we have Shocker from Kanto. This is pretty awesome that we're getting to use different Pokemon from the three different regions. Now, if only I could get this, like a Sinnoh Pokemon to get in here, then... Yeah, that... Like, naturally from the Sinnoh region, I would be a happy man right here. But, we got what we got. We put in some effort. And, yeah. I did say that this is going to be... This is how the, the game or the little walkthrough was going to be, guys. I'm not going to just stay put with one Pokemon team and all that crud. We're going to bring in some other guys. Just to win this whole thing. Septile, you are now a champion again in three regions. Kanto, Johto, and Hoenn. Holy crud. The trifecta, guys. We got the trifecta with uh, all six of these Pokemon. And, uh, well, look at this. <clears throat> Nobody's face is covered. It is me. It's me. It's GLD. Pokemon League champion. Okay. Alrighty. So... What is next in our adventure right here? Well, it's very simple, guys. We only have a few more episodes. We have completed the events. We have completed um, quite a few things. We actually needed to win the Pokemon League yet again in order to activate another event. Actually, maybe, maybe not. I, I, I'm going to have to like check on that and all that stuff. But yes, we do have one more side quest to do, and that is to capture the three Hoenn Legendary Pokemon. Of course, they will be event Pokemon, and it will be coming out through coats. Just, 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 just stay put with all that stuff right there, guys. Um, shoot. We have to defeat Red first before we even get to those legendary Pokemon. So yes, there's going to be like some mixing and matching. As you guys can see, Silver, it, we're not done with Silver just yet. We still have a few a few more bones to pick with the homeboy right there. A few more events just to close out his story. But yes, guys, uh, we, we, we've pretty much done everything in this whole walkthrough right here. And there's just quite a few things left. I cannot wait to finish it. This week, we will be finished with Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, finally, after how many years? And it didn't take four years like when I was Draven XC711. No, it actually took one full, like, it actually took like two months, I guess. Two, three months? I can't, I can't, like, I, I can't remember. I mean, I did take a, a month off from this whole thing right here. So, yeah. Anywho, guys. 
just want to say thank you for staying patient. Thank you guys for watching my walkthroughs, for being supportive and all that stuff. I'm seeing the subscribe count go up. I'm seeing just the comments and everything. And I'm sorry that I, I can't get to all you guys' comments and all that. But just know that I'm, I'm seeing them all. Critiques, positive feedback, and all that stuff. So thank you guys again for being as supportive as can be. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough in the next episode. See you guys.